Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. The headlight reinforcement panel is going to serve multiple purposes in the front of your Mustang. Obviously, it's the place where your headlights are going to mount, but it also serves a key role in mounting of your front bumper cover. Your bumper cover is going to mount to the support, so if this support is damaged, it can actually cause a lot of alignment issues with your front panel and also poor headlight performance. This 2001 Mustang GT behind me has definitely had some front end issues in the past, and while all the sheet metal has been fixed, the headlight panel is still busted, causing a lot of alignment issues. So today we're going to replace it using this reproduction piece fitting your 1999 through 2004 Mustang. This headlight reinforcement panel is an exact reproduction of the original plastic panel found in the 1999 through 2004 Mustang and it will fit all models. For this installation, we have a Phillips head screwdriver, T30 Torx bit, quarter inch ratchet, 5 16 socket, 7 16 socket, and a panel trim removal tool. To replace the headlight reinforcement panel, the first step is going to be to remove your factory bumper cover. It's held in place by hardware up top here in the engine bay, as well as pieces in the side down in the wheel wells. We're going to start underneath and then move up top. We'll start down the wheel wells by removing this screw here. That will allow us to pull back the splash shield and get to the rest of the hardware that mounts the front bumper cover. The splash shield pulled down, you see there's two studs. There's one here and one a little bit further back behind it. There's going to be two nuts on there. Remove the nuts, that'll release the side of the cover. Now you want to repeat the process on the other side. Before we move up top, we can reach up here and unplug our fog lights. Then remove the two lower clips. The hardware in the engine bay can differ depending on the model and what options you have. You could have upwards of six different clips across the front here holding it in place. In the case of our car, we only have the two outside ones. In some cases, these may be rivets that have to be drilled out depending on the year of your car. In our case, they're just plastic clips that have to be removed. Get all the clips off, now we can slowly pull off the front bumper cover. Make sure the studs disengage from the sides. And put it aside. Now we're going to remove the headlights to get to the headlight reinforcement panel. 99 through 04 headlights are probably the easiest ones ever to remove. Simply push down these two clips, lift up and slide them out. To get our original headlight reinforcement panel off, there's going to be four bolts per side. Two inside here, and then two outside. Now repeat the process on the other side. Now we want to transfer the horse and corral over from our original headlight reinforcement panel to our replacement. This is held in by a bunch of push pins. Let's start by trying to push on them from the back to get them started and then remove them. Now we're going to unscrew the horse itself. On many cars, particularly the Cobras, you're going to have it need a theft-proof torque spit to get it off. Ours has standard screws, but many of them are going to be the theft-proof style. I'm going to transfer the pieces over into our new headlight reinforcement panel. The holes are there, but they're not threaded. These bolts will thread it. It's got to give them a little bit of push on them. Push pins lined up, push them through. And it's ready to go on the car. 
What you're gonna do is sort of lay it on your bumper support. We'll start over here, make sure you don't forget to fish through the wiring harnesses. Now we're gonna put the reinforcement panel into place. Make sure you fish through all your wires in the proper locations. What we're gonna do is put all the hardware in loosely just to make sure everything lines up before we tighten it down. We're gonna start with both outside pieces first, then we'll tighten down the inside. Now the inside's next. Once everything started lined up, we can tighten them all down. And we're tightening against plastic, so just get them snug. You don't have to over tighten everything. Now we can reinstall our bumper cover. Reinstall the hardware for the upper mounts. And now we'll move on to the fenders. I'll reinstall the nuts, hold the bumper cover on. With that done, now we can reinstall the splash shield. And repeat the process on the other side. We're going to reach up and reinstall the fog light harnesses on both sides and then attach the lower bumper. Since we're replacing the headlight reinforcement panel, we felt it was a perfect time for a brand new set of headlights also available here at TJ Pony Parts. And your installation's finished. Now that we have a good unbroken headlight reinforcement panel, the headlights fit correctly and the front of the car looks a lot better. Now we can spend a little bit of time aligning everything else and make this old one look as good as new again. The installation is pretty straightforward. You do have to remove the bumper cover, but overall, it'll take you less than two hours. Be back on the road in no time.